Hey, it's Liam from Tinnitus Treatment, and in this video, I want to break down a TMJ treatment. Now, people with TMJ, you know, there's different situations, so you can get a locked jaw, you can't open your jaw properly, but we're going to talk specifically about the ringing in the ears, and having a locked jaw and having ringing in the ears are not something that's normally um, people have at the same time, okay? So we're going to talk about some remedies. First of all, I really highly recommend going and see a chiropractor, and trust me, this advice is not going to end there, but... Seeing a chiropractor is really good because they can get an x-ray, see what's going on. You might have a literal uh, issue in your bone and it's not sitting right and they can help. But here's the thing with that. You run the risk of being somebody who has to see a chiropractor for the rest of their life. And here's why. It has to do with something called neuroinflammation or neural inflammation. And it sounds scary and ridiculous, but it just has to do with the nervous system. And you can look up Dr. Schmidt. He's actually done a lot of research on it. Just look up neuroinflammation and Dr. Schmidt. He actually talks about this a lot. He's fantastic. And what it is is basically an overworking of the nervous system. Now, your nervous system is your consciousness. It's your brain and your, your brain stem, which goes all the, way to th all the way through your body. And what happens is when it becomes inflamed, it becomes inflamed because you're overworked, okay? You're overworked because you're stressed out. You're doing too much exercise, um, you have too many responsibilities, you have kids, you have a bad relationship, you have money problems, you have physical problems, you're obese. It can be that your physical body is under stress because you're overweight or you're eating bad foods and because your mental state is in a bad way, okay, because it feeds back to each other. So you need to address both. Regarding the chiropractor, you can address the physical issue, but if you don't address the mental issue and the dietary problems you might be having, forget it. Forget it, forget it, forget it. If you're not getting in ketosis, forget it. TMJ, bone issues, whatever you want to call it, the problem comes from the inflammation, okay? The problem comes from the inflammation. The inflammation can be caused by a problem with the jaw, yes, but there's soft tissue in there, so you can be getting calcium deposits due to an overly acidic diet. So cut out things like rice, bread, dairy, deli meats, um, most nuts except for walnuts. Walnuts are fine. If you want to see what else you have to cut out, just click the link below, go to liamstopsinus.com, go to my website, download the free guide. That's what I give people to get over there tonight is TMJ, noise induced, doesn't matter, okay? Now, I want to give you guys some really hard hitting questions for um, the actual stress side because the stress side is very important. And I'll tell you why. I just had a, um, a, a patient of mine who I'm helping with tinnitus and he's actually getting some great results. He contacted me and said that one of his family friends who had tinnitus, he didn't even realize he had tinnitus, he went overseas, he had a stressful job here in Australia. He went back overseas to where he's from, took his family with him, and it was a very stress-free environment, and his tinnitus went away in three months or two months, completely went away. That just shows how powerful it is to be in a stress-free environment, okay? And most of you guys are putting yourself in a stress, stressful environment because you're addicted to the emotions, whether they're good or bad. Remember, I'm not a psychologist, but I do know this. People get addicted to emotions. It doesn't matter whether it's happiness or sadness. Most of the time, it's victimhood, especially in the tinnitus industry. The victimhood is rampant. And the problem with that is it's contagious. People go on tinnitustalk.com and read this bullshit about these people who are just, oh, it's just, oh my God, it's just, oh, heavens. And they just think they're just spreading the shit everywhere. And I get it, it's bad, but that person's never going to get better unless they start changing the way they think. And you have to change your outward words first, okay? Seems hard, that's life, everyone's life is hard. So in terms of stressful environment, let me break down, let me ask you some really hard questions and I'm going to break it up between men and women. So if you're a guy, and for most people who, you know, aren't a guy or if you are a guy, you should know that your um, brain the part of your brain um, that's designed for sexual pursuit because men think about sex all the time. It's just the way that it is. This is not some PC video. All the time, okay, most men anyway. So here's the thing. If you're with a girlfriend right now, okay, and she's dramatic, she's annoying, ask yourself a question. And she's causing you lots of stress and she's always on your mind about how can I please her, which is not the right way you should be thinking at all. You've got to please yourself. Ask yourself this question and answer it straight away in your head. Would I still be with this girl if I could never again have sex with her? What was the answer? If your answer was yes, that's great. We must be just, you know, every relationship has problems. If it was no, break up with her right now. Just do it over text. Just text her. And some of you might think this is harsh, but 
You've got to come before everybody else. That's the biggest problem. Don't worry about being liked. Don't worry about trying to change the world. You have to love yourself and fix your own shit before you try and make everyone else feel good, okay? Now, if your answer, if you try to come up with some excuse, break up with her right now as well. Same thing goes for the woman. Now, obviously, if you're a girl, you're, if you're a young girl, then don't worry about this. But if you're an older girl, um, obviously, the part of your brain for sexual pursuit is not as um, big. So try it for a different question. Try it for, um, may- maybe that is an appropriate question for you. Maybe that is. But most of the time, what I find is things like, is he supporting me? Or is he interested in you know, my life? Or is he, will he share himself with me? Stuff like that. So if he's not doing that stuff, if he's not emotionally available you know, um, just kick him to the fucking curb. Just dump him. It's fine. I think bad's going to happen. Anything that's going to happen is you're going to feel better about yourself and you're going to have less stress, less things to worry about, right? We're throwing away things to worry about. Cut out that minimalistic lifestyle, okay? Second thing is, guys, go and get hobbies. And this is all about neuroinflammation, okay? Go and get hobbies. Excuse me. And I know this seems ridiculous, but go and listen to music that you like that reminds you of your happy childhood. Don't do it in iPod headphones, but just put it on a, um, a speaker system quietly while you work or while you just sit there and listen, okay? Like that. Also, consider changing your life dramatically. I did that. I used to um, work, work in marketing ages ago, and now I, I do this, and I dropped everything to go and do this, and I feel way better. Of course, I fixed my tinnitus before I did this, but now it's way less stress, Okay. I make virtually no money, but it's a lot less stressful. Second thing about money, if you guys have money problems, you need to learn about it. Go and read these two books, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki and The Richest Man in Babylon. I forget who wrote The Richest Man in Babylon, but go and read that. You need to understand money as well. So address your life. Notice what's stressing you out. Fix your diet. So cut out all the acidic foods like rice, pasta, bread. As I said before, coffee is a huge one. Alcohol is a huge one too. Prescription medication. If you're taking Xanax or Zoloft or Antium or Ativan, I think it's called, or anything like that, you're ruining your body and you can do permanent damage and you're basically going to turn yourself insane. Stop trying to solve here. Okay, you can have calcium deposits, so just fast. Stop trying to solve here and start trying to solve everything. Your nervous system, butter, which I said before, is your brain and your brain stem, and it goes down into your body and your spine. But try to fix everything as a whole. Fix the diet, okay? Fix the life, okay? And fix the way that you think. So start meditating as well. Go and read Awaken the Giant Within by Tony Robbins. And if you think right now, oh, well, Tony Robbins is kind of lame. We already lost, haven't you? So this is TMJ treatment. If you want what I teach everybody, absolutely free. That's cool. Click the link below, go to liamstopsonitis.com, download the free guide, start implementing it. If you've got any questions, just respond to the email or comment below. So respond to the email that you get the free ebook in. And talk soon, this is TMJ Treatment.